In this module, I would introduce two new concepts which are closely linked with the concept of gender order that you have learned in the previous module. One of them is convention and the other is ideology. Gender order is constructed and reconstructed by structures. What is structures? Structure, this term, structures, what do we mean by this? Structure means system of human relations. Human relations are organized. This organization is hierarchical. Someone is powerful. Someone is superior. This is hierarchy. And this hierarchy among relations is established and maintained through communication. And these linkages which are maintained through communication, they are called conventions. For example, a university, a government, a sports team, they are all structures by this definition. Every structure has convention, our expectations and ideology. We have said that a, a structure is a system of hierarchies. Hierarchies are maintained and established through communication and communication involves conventions. So every structure has convention. This is first factor. And second, it also involves ideology. Ideology in Marxist point of view, Karl Marx, he thinks that ideology is false consciousness. It is not necessary that we agree with him, but to understand the point in this context, his definition is very relevant. He says that ideology, because I want to emphasize that here we are not talking about beliefs and values. Uh, we are defining ideology in some other sense. And that sense is that it is a false consciousness. What do we mean by it? Something is imaginary, something is not real, but we are believed, we are believed to take it as real. Ideology is materialized by ideological apparatus and which institutions, which social institutions take part in making something real for us, which we don't know that it is real or unreal. That's why we call it false, un uh, false consciousness. So we think that we are aware of reality, but actually we are not aware that maybe just some imaginary thing. So this is what we mean by false consciousness. But the question is how this false consciousness develops. Who takes part in this process? So they are ideological apparatus, ideological machinery, which are schools, curriculum, media, these things. Convention and ideology together, they decide how sex class allocations are made in a society. What do we mean by this? Sex class allocations. This is very important. What are rights and obligations of each sex? The allocation of rights and duties. It takes place in light of conventions and ideology. What are freedoms and limits for each sex? Again, the same thing. And who is more powerful and who is subordinated and obedient and docile and who is superordinate and more powerful. All these allocations of authority, power, rights and duties, they are decided on the basis of convention and ideology. Conventions and ideology have this power. How do they get this power? They have this power to decide these things because we unconsciously follow them. 
we are made to believe that they are true. So we unconsciously follow them, we are bound to follow them, and we never question them. We never show any doubt about them. So here, at the end of this module, as we often do, you have a task to understand and relate these ideas with your study. Discuss power of convention attached with marriage in our culture. So we take marriage as an example and we uh, would try to understand how convention regarding marriage and how our ideology about marriage, they lead us to make decisions. You will discuss it with power of other factors like class, color, religion, and laws. So this task would develop an understanding of what do we mean by gender order, and how it is defined by convention and ideology, and how convention and ideology lead to allocations of rights, duties, and power in society.